what's up guys back again with another video this episode i'm going to show you how to create multiple threads with one class basically so last episode um we made uh, some classes that you know implement runnable and um whenever you do that of course you can make threads inside of that so whenever we make a new object it creates the thread and then we could uh do we can run start and then it runs all the code and stuff like that so what we're going to show you this time is we're going to create one class and then we can create multiple threads from that class just by making multiple objects from that class. It's a pretty simple concept, but uh, it's better if I show you. So, because uh, there's going to be a few differences um, and you'll see why. So anyway, let's get started by um, by uh, making a class here. So class, we'll call it uh, my thread again, uh, like that. Now we got to implement runnable, of course. Great, cool. So make sure you have the public void run, of course, because we need that. You don't have to have this here. Then inside that, we'll have our code. And I already, that's just the code for the countdown. We're just going to have that, of course. And uh, yeah, so so we're going to make a change here by, um, this time we're going to have a string up here called name. And then we're also, we're going to have this here like we had you know, before. So thread t, that would be our placeholder uh, variable reference, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we'll have our uh, constructor here like before, so my thread. And then within that, we'll actually we'll actually have a parameter this time. It'll be the string of name, because whenever you're creating a um, a new thread every time, you want a unique name for it. So then we can provide a parameter to the object that we're making. Therefore, the thread will have a unique name, basically. So, and you'll see why in a second. So what we're gonna do name is equal to. Uh, name this that way no this dot name is equal to name there we go so these we have to use this dot name of course because these are different you know so anyway um so now we're going to make the new thread of course so t equals new uh thread and then within that we could have um of course we're going to use this and then we can this time instead of providing a name manually we would use the parameter so we use name like that so pretty cool, that's a little small difference. So uh, like I said, that'll give it a unique name every time. So created new thread like that. There we go. And that should work a little bit, or not a little bit, it should work. <laughs> and then um, and then we'll have, uh, that looks good. All right, cool. So that looks done to me. So let's go ahead and create an object. So my thread, oh, what the hell? My thread, there we go. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, thread one e equals new my thread. Okay, and of that, we have to provide a string name, of course, so we'll call it thread one. Okay, and then we'll run this and see what happens. So that'll just create it, of course, and then run, you know, the constructor code here. So we're just gonna create the other two. We're gonna have three of them. So my thread thread two equals new my thread thread two. And the last one of course my thread thread three equals new my thread thread three. There you go. So we have three threads now. Let's go ahead and run this just to test out and see if that worked out. Uh, awesome. So it worked out. Pretty cool. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and run each of them. Um, so we'll do thread one dot um, t dot start, of course, because if you're using runnable, then you have to reference the, you know, whatever that's called, the variable. So, and then you do thread two dot t dot start, thread three dot t dot start. Awesome. So if you run this, um, you can see that they're all running concurrently, meaning at the same time. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and make a little change up here first. Uh, let's, where is it? Yeah, right here. So every time it prints out which one it's on, we'll have it the name of it by ne like next to it. So we'll, we'll do thread. Just so we know that, just so we can prove that they're running at the same time, you know? I think this will be good. There we go, so let's run that. Oh, that's a little messy, but let's try doing t dot get name. Let's try that one. 
There we go. Thread two. Still a little messy, but y'all get the point, hopefully. So, I mean, pretty simple, right? So, one more thing I want to add is just something. This is what you would have here, just to show that it's exiting. The thread is, you know, canceling. Um, it's just the last piece of code um, that you'll have, and this is what you want to you're gonna basically gonna output that it's it's stopping now. So you can say like um, thread. Um, well, no, I'll do t is exiting. So that should be the line of code that says that it's done running. You know the thread. So that'll be at the very end once they're all done, and they all happen at the same time. Yep, right there. So that proves that they run concurrently also. So anyway, if you like this episode, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll help you. Or if you want to join the Discord, it's in the description. You could join that and you could talk with us and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so if you like, leave a like, subscribe. If you want to see more, and peace.